Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Fierro. The Marble Falls High School football team earned its first district win last week, 45-41 over Vista Ridge. Now they're looking for another. Here's head coach Todd Dodge. It's important that we get off to, to you know, do a big start. You know, that's again, we know what our motivation is, you know, and that's what we can control. Uh, I would, I would assume because I know Bob and he's going to have his team ready to play because there, there's a game at 7.30 on that night and it happens to be against a team that, that uh, there's a little rivalry against. And I think they're like nothing more. They, they are, you know, probably pretty much, you know, uh, I don't know total mathematically, but uh, that they're out of the hunt, you know, so to speak. But uh, – uh, I expect I expect a tremendous effort from them, a very motivated effort from them. You know, I mean, our kids are going to go into this game knowing that, you know, that they're playing for the same things we're playing for. And yet, I get the impression that the Mustangs have their complete and total attention on the Tigers and are not overlooking them at all. Oh gosh, no. I mean, we that won't happen. I mean, it's you know, we're we're a, we're a, we're we're not a team that's rocking along at seven and one and. And now we're facing someone that, you know, someone says that, you know, we, we might should beat, you know, that kind of thing. That, that we're fighting for our playoff lives. And, and regardless if it was a team that was 0-4 in district or a team that was 3-1 and in district, you know, um, you know, they've got our complete attention. I, I, I have a, you know, I, I just look back to, you know, the, the body of work and what Coach Schultz has done. And uh, what they do offensively, they're, they're scary. I mean, they, you know, they can move the football. You know, they absolutely can move the football. And so, uh, and just the fact that uh, I know there's a lot of pride over there. There's a there's a little rivalry between the two schools. Um, and, um, no, there, there will not be any kind of uh, overconfidence. That would be, you know, that would be kind of asinine to be honest. We, we're not a team that really deserves, you know, to even have the word overconfidence in our mouths or, be around our field house it's just keep grinding and um and go out and take care of business because you know, and that's what i've told them you are in a two-week window now we've put ourselves in a two-week window where um the one the, the goal that we had the team goal that we had was to get one of the four spots to the playoffs that was our goal this year you know and we'll and and if and when we hit that then we'll reevaluate our goals from there but that's what we want to be. Well, how many times really at this time of year, how many high school uh, teams across the state going into week nine really have their goals still intact, that they control their own goals? To me, that's a very sobering feeling. That's a very uh, focusing feeling uh, that, you know, and, and it, it's a good one because we control everything. And we just got to go out and, and do what we do and continue to get better. And this team has continued a little bit. We have not, since the start of district, we have not taken a backward step. And that's that's the thing over a, over a four-week window from Cedar Park through Rouse, through Vandy, through Vista Ridge. It's been a constant, as a football team as a whole, we've constantly gotten better. And that's what my expectation is, that we'll continue to get better as our season continues. Can you tell me, does he literally have one quarterback that's a better runner than passer versus the other quarterback that's more of a passer than a runner? No, no. They both pretty much have the same strength. They're both probably better passers than they are runners. Um, T.J. Cobble was a uh, – the, the JV quarterback last year. We remember him from our JV game. As a matter of fact, over at Dripping Springs last year, of course, Brennan Wooten was our JV quarterback, and Ty Coffey was on, you know, uh, on the uh, JV last year, and, and it was one heck of a JV shootout. I think the, you know, the the final score on that one was forty something to forty something, and um, I never forget. Uh, Ty Coffey had 22 catches in a JV game that year, and Brennan lit it up. And and but it's a really a it, it, but he was the quarterback, and 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 they threw the ball a bunch well too. And and then uh, Shep Shepard was their freshman quarterback last year. And I just remember talking with Bob in the off season because they they lost a three year starter in Johnson, you know. But he was really excited about you know the the depth that he had at quarterback, and he decided to play both of them. I, what I can see as I've watched him this year, it, it's been you know, two for two, you know, through the first uh, two possession for two possession through the first half. And then I think that they usually will kind of, 
you know, see who has a hot hand and, and maybe go that direction in, in the in the third quarter. But it's really not a deal where you you bring one in, you're going to think they're going to start running a bunch. That's not the, not the situation. They both uh, are are better passers than they are runners. Todd Dodge, the football team has to win this game in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. Senior receiver and defensive back Colin Vaught has been a contributor to the football team and has the goal of doing the same thing for the baseball squad. Um, I know my teammates are extremely fired up. I, them and Dripping Springs, I think, have always been semi-rivals, and me coming into it, I can really feel it, and it's got me pumped up too. What do you want to do after high school? Um, I'm actually going to play baseball at TCU. You've already decided that. Yes, ma'am. I committed uh, earlier in the season. Well, congratulations. That y'all, somebody hasn't been informing me of that. I didn't realize you were also a baseball player. Yes, ma'am. That's definitely my my sport. What what position do you play on the baseball diamond? Um, in high school, I play shortstop, but for TCU, they're talking more catcher and third base. Wow. But honestly, I'll play wherever they put me, as long as I'm in the lineup. That if you play short, that tells me that you're pretty fast. Actually, I'm not really that fast. I just played baseball my whole life, and I make good reads on the ball, and everyone just put me at shortstop in high school. Why TCU? Um, I'd been looking at some other schools, and then I'd always, since I was a little, Baylor and TCU have always been like my top two schools because they're good academic schools and then good baseball schools, and lots of fans show up, and it's cool atmosphere, and when TCU gave me the offer, I couldn't turn it down.